Hello, good morning, everyone. Today is a bright day. It's beautiful on the outside. The sun is shining. However, it's a little cold, but the temperature goes up today to 53. I think that's what I heard this morning. Anyway, we are here today to talk about learning nuggets. In my book, Empowering Guide Nurse, that's a beautiful word. And it has so many things that relate to nursing. And so I'm a nurse for more than four decades. I'm the nurse. It says, nurse, the guide to empower new nurses in the delivery of high quality care to all patients. And let me tell you, this book has so many meaningful information, nuggets, pearls, that you as a nurse, you definitely want to have a copy. Yes, if you listen to those who have given their testimonials, if you listen to those who have read it, nurse and non-nurses, let me let you know this. There's so many gems you want to embrace. There's so many tips that you want to cuddle. Yes. So this book, you can get it on Amazon, Kindle, and paperback at the moment. The hardcover is yet to come. However, you need to have your copy. And you need to share it with others because there's so much to learn and to implement. And these information will definitely enhance your, your nursing journey. And of course, the outcome will be so great. It will impact you as well as your patients. There will definitely be transformational effect. And so this is what we want, so that all our patients can receive high quality care, regardless of their nationality, regardless of their um, orientation, regardless of their race, regardless of their educational status, regardless of their social or economical situation, and more. Everyone deserves the best care. So in my book, I repeat again, Nurse, the Guide to Empowering New Nurses in the Delivery of High Quality Care to All Patients. On page 89, I have, that's chapter eight, Learning Nuggets. And I'm gonna read nugget one for you. As you plan, this is my, my nurses, or anyone that can relate to this information. It says, as you learn and as you plan and care for your patients, it is always prudent to have a strategy. Since at any time, the patient's condition can change. And you nurses, you can identify already with some of that from you were even student nurses. Much more now you are a new nurse on your own. Therefore, to ensure that you deliver a complete handoff and in case there is a change in care, I recommend the following method. I'm recommending this. You might have other method, but method that has worked for me and has worked for others, right? So reporting through identification. I recommend the method reporting through identification, situation, background, assessment, and recommendation. The ISBA is an organized way of embracing the safety of the patient with the transfer of information. This is one, this is only one of the handle methods. The ISBA tool positively affect the safety of many, many patients. According to Stewart 2017, the Joint Commission described handoff 
as a real-time process of transferring specific patient information from one caregiver to another or to the team. Thus, the continuity of care, continuity of the patient care. Many healthcare facilities have used this tool in exchange information and giving report on patients to the different disciplines in the healthcare industry, including nursing. Many improvement projects have promoted standardizing the use of communication tools as to enhance the patient's safety. So definitely, there has to be a standardized or organized way of handing off so that the patient will receive continuity of care. Yes. And in doing so, everyone will be informed. And of course, patient has an input. Earlier on, I used to just know about the SBAR, but after I researched, I used the identification or the in information, information, you know, introducing that information, identifying the patient, identifying the doctor, identifying yourself, yes, introducing yourself, yes, to the other team members. So it's so important. And that's, you know, you'll go on with this quality care, passing on this information and ensuring that the patient receives. And once that is done, that definitely will be the tool of helping in a short way, short time span that the patient receives that care. So you have to be vigilant. Very, very important. So we must have a plan as we get our reports. We must have a plan, a strategy to deliver high quality care to all our patients. That's what I have to say at this moment. And I know you have, you have from nursing school, you have experiences where you got to go through the acronym. Definitely going to identify, you're going to get the background, get the situation. Of course, the last one is recommendation. Okay. So you're going to make it your, your identify your patients, the situation, what situation causing you, what's happening, your background, that's your history there. You assess what's going on. And of course, you recommend, yes, I need help right now. Or what can I do until you come? Or what can I do at this point? But definitely, there got to be a standardized way of ensuring that care is being done, care is given, and continuity of it. Thank you so much. Dr. Miriam Smith, DNP, nurse, the guide for empowering new nurses in the delivery of high quality care to all patients. And I know you're going to be repeating that over and over and over until it also becomes a part of you. All patients underscore that all patient deserves the best care. All patient, every person who is sick deserves the best care. Subscribe, leave a helpful comment, and thank you. Miriam Amanda Smith on YouTube. Tell someone else, share, share the link. It's okay to do so because our goal is to empower locally, nationally, regionally, and the world, internationally, globally. Thank you. Have a great day.